Hey everyone, John Kirk here. I'm here with David Black from Charisma Hotels, Director of Sales from Charisma Hotels and Resorts, which includes... Well, we have a number of brands. We have Eldorado, uh, which are adults only, Azul for families, Nickelodeon, which is what we're going to talk about today, uh -huh. and uh, Generations. What's the perception of Nickelodeon? Is it, is it SpongeBob walking around the beach, soaking up all the uh, water, and uh, Rick the Snail, and Dora, <laughs> Dora the Explorer walking around? What's it actually like on property? Well, you would think so. I mean, if, you, if you've if you ever been to the one in Orlando or you've seen the one in Orlando, that is the perception then. Uh, everywhere you go, you're surrounded by characters and uh, the snails running around, the Dora's running around, Ninja Turtles all over the place, and that's actually uh, not the case. You know, Nickelodeon approached us uh, to do something a little bit different. Cool. Uh, they really wanted to add uh, a five-star uh, uh, experience, a five-star element to, to the Nickelodeon name. Because I read, uh, I went on TripAdvisor and I read that it's, it's, I mean, it's like a four and a half star plus rating for the property. And I actually read where people were saying that the, the characters and that the whole theme is not really that prevalent. It's actually an area within the resort that's called Nick Place or... Correct. Yeah, Nickelodeon Place. So, you know, when we when we created the the when we created the resort, was the idea was, you know, we want it to be as much about the kids but we also want to make sure that the adults can have a vacation too. Because think about the last time you went to Orlando and stayed at one of the properties there and you had your kids. And, yeah. Uh, you know, those types of vacations are all about the kids. And we wanted to turn the the themed resort experience on its head and make it make it uh, an experience for the adults too. So, well, it seems like it's working because the, res the reviews on TripAdvisor are huge. And I know the trade has really embraced it as well. And, mm -hmm. and what partners are you working with? Who are you working with that's selling... That's wholesaling the product. Well, all the all the wholesalers mm -hmm. here. You have Air Canada Vacations, Transat, uh, Sunwing Holidays, uh, Travel Brands, uh, WestJet. They're all selling. Uh, okay. All selling Nickelodeon. Cool. Yeah. And any uh, any promotions that are going on to drive sale or sales? I, I imagine because it's a great theme. They must be really chugging along. And uh, yeah. Any special promos that you got going to? We drive? do. We we have some really great sales, and uh, we actually um, we're doing a kids free promotion right now. So two adults. Kids free! Exactly. Kids free! But is it a real kids free or yeah. is it? Well, it's not a fake kids free. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. No, but <laughs> all right, all right, you got me. What is it? Kids stay and eat, eat free yes. everything? Kids stay and eat free. So if you have two adults and two children, you're actually only going to be paying for, for two adults and the kids will stay for free. And that's a promotion that we're running uh, uh, for a little, for quite some time now that goes all the way through till next year. And if you have groups, we're doing seventh passenger free. So, and every, that's available with all the partners that you're working with. Every single one of the partners, yeah. Very cool. And then any more, any more Nickelodeons planned or? Always, yeah. We don't. We're, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you're never, we're never just happy with, with just one. Smudge, one <laughs> square bed. Like, oh, I can't help it. So the the next planned resort is going to be in Riviera Maya in Mexico, actually right next door to our Generations property. So. Uh, we broke ground on that earlier this year, and uh, we hope to be open by mid-2018. Uh, and so what is the deal with, what's the deal with the sliming? Because I keep hearing, people have told me about it, and I have no clue what the heck this slime thing is all about. Well, you know, until I had my own kids, and I started watching Nickelodeon, I, I didn't know either. I didn't kind of grasp the whole thing about being slimed, but now that I've seen it and my kids have seen it, they all want to do it. So basically it's green slime. You have green slime poured all over you. So we have a machine oh, uh, uh, in the in the Nickelodeon place. That's great. Uh, at the hotel. That's fantastic. Four people sit down. Is that right at check-in? Is that <laughs> right, right at check-in? Well, it, it depends Aww. if you're a difficult customer or not. <laughs> and we're just gonna put you under the slime slime machine immediately. But it, it's, it's really cool. In fact, uh, you know, it's a $50 value for a family of four, but uh, you know, with so you pay to get slime. You pay to get slime, but we're nice. running, but we're running promotions with uh, uh, some of our operators where you know, if you book so many nights, you can get a free sliming. And believe me, it's very popular. <laughs> it's I don't know. I <laughs> no, no, no. But just the the whole concept. You book so many nights, you get a free sliming <laughs> because the kids love it. Are I believe me? it. They line up to get slime. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. No, who wouldn't line up to get slimed? Well, listen, I know when I take my kids down there, uh, my daughter is going to say, "Daddy, I." I want to do that. I'm gonna to have to suck it up and do it, <laughs> and I'm gonna be cool, covered man. in 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 green slime, and I can just jump in the pool afterwards. So, but uh, so okay. So the sliming has nothing to do with the food. Okay, that's good. So now I have that cleared up in my Correct. mind. Correct. However, 
you guys have won like major awards for mm-hmm. Charisma Group and all the different hotels. Like, there's some heavy, heavy awards you've won. There, there related, are related to food, and I think uh, one of the properties got the whole foam cuisine and all that stuff. Like, so, are you familiar with the gourmet inclusive concept? Like, do you, do uh, you understand that? Yes, I, I am. I'm completely cognizant. No, he's not. With it, no, I'm not. So. <laughs> Okay. So, you know, every hotel out there calls themselves all inclusive, right? And they say they have the best amenities and they have room service and you can dine in all the specialty restaurants you want. But when it actually boils down to it, if you stay in an all inclusive resort, you, you know, to get room service, you got to be in a qualifying room category. If you want to eat in a specialty restaurant, you might be limited to how many times you can eat in a specialty mm-hmm. restaurant. Um, you know, some of the restaurants require reservations and a lot of the restaurants are buffet only. And, you know, if you have food allergies um, or, you know, you, you oftentimes are going to get pretty much cornered into one restaurant the entire vacation. So our gourmet inclusive concept kind of, um, it, uh, it changes the, con- the, the perception of all inclusive, right? So we're not all inclusive, we're gourmet all inclusive, mm-hmm. gourmet inclusive. And that doesn't only relate to food, but it relates to service um, and it relates to the total experience as well. Mm-hmm. So any of our room categories <clears throat> carry 24 room service. None of our restaurants require reservations. Uh, we have Gerber baby food available on property. Huh. Yeah, I've never seen that before no. on, on any menus. No, I could use that with my kids. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and and you know the if you have food allergies, I mean we really cater to people with with food allergies. So as long as we know ahead of time, we can set up your entire dining experience so you're not forced into just eating one restaurant your t- the entire time you're down there. Uh, if it's a peanut allergy or shellfish allergy, no matter where you're dining, as long as we know ahead of time, we can set it up where you can always have have a great dining experience. Very I mean, cool. even a check-in, right? This is really cool. At Nickelodeon, um, the adults get champagne check-in, but the kids get get slime. No, they get well. They close. They get a green slime smoothie. Oh, really? Yeah. That's fun. so. Uh, you know, actually, the first time I went down there, I took a sip of that the green slime smoothie, in my teeth. Were, were, <laughs> they look like they look like they were radioactive for a little while. Nice, um, but uh, but it tastes really good. Nice. Um, that's that's a very that's a good overview. At least I, I'm I'm that's a great overview for me for me, and I'm sure everybody else watching has got a, a good understanding. Good luck with the Nickelodeon uh, property. Speaking of restaurants, we're just about where we're gonna go and have uh, have a salad and a soda water. <clears throat> Absolutely. <laughs> so, thanks very much for tuning in, everybody, and uh, thanks very much for. Stopping by and no uh, problem. Anytime. And having a chat. Okay. Thanks very much. See you guys.